there's a reality in modern times about modern women that I'm starting to notice. And women are trending downwards right in front of our face. And I just want to offer my insight in the things that I'm noticing as I'm observing women in this day and age because their behavior isn't getting any better. In some ways it is, in some ways it's not. There's gonna always be little pockets of women where they're doing it the right way, they're married, have kids, intact family units, holding off to a marriage. Yeah, those women still exist, they're just rare, harder to find. But those women are the minority in our society. So before we get into what I've been noticing about women, I want to remind you guys to like, comment, subscribe quickly, just really quick before we get too far into the video. Support, if you guys want to support the channel, all the ways you can support are in the description below. So I'm gonna kind of take you through a progression of what I've learned. See, a lot of women, what I'm noticing about today's women is that a lot of them are drifting. They don't know if they're coming or going. They don't know if they want a relationship or not. They don't know if they want to be married or not, to be a mother or not. They're just kind of slowly existing, going along in life, not really with any plans, kind of just winging it. Which, if you don't have a plan, if you don't have a guide, you're going nowhere. See, women today have allowed feminism to lead them down the wrong path. Literally to the point to where they don't even know how to get a marriage now, a relationship now. Let alone how chaotic the marriage laws are. And men are waking up to that. Men are having to say so in, in their actions, in this action as well, of women drifting. Because a lot of men are just not putting up with the BS anymore. But let's just be real for a sec. An, an average to attractive to a 10, let's just say from a five to a 10, they can easily get a man. But they let the wild years prolong itself. And Either they came from broken families or they just choose to rebel against their family. They have no guide to tell them or show them how to vet a man properly because this is how it goes. In high school to college, women are wild. They want to put themselves out there. They want to be adventurous. They want to kiss the girl and experience the bisexual stage and they want to you know, date the jock and date the C CEO, the older manager that's 30, 40 years old, sleep around until they get STDs, right? Or this is the stage where they date a guy out of their league and he breaks their heart. This is where all this experience comes from somewhere between the ages of 16 to about 22, 23. So what I'm noticing is as they get out of college and as you enter into the real world with real responsibilities and real uh, problems and real everyday life, they tamp down that slightly. They tamp it down. They peel it back a little bit. Why? 
Because right now, let's just be real, they're a little bit jaded. They're a little bit jaded. Now, the thing that's going in their favor is that they're still young and attractive. But since they went out there and put themselves out there and they've been heartbroken and they've been pumped and dumped, they've been done all this negative stuff too. They have a cognitive bias about men. They're jaded, untrustworthy towards men. Now, some of it makes sense. You know, just like I tell you guys with women, you shouldn't go around trusting every woman. But not every woman is going to do you dirty. Just like every man isn't going to do a, a, a woman dirty. There's too many simps running around here for that to be true. A lot of more, a lot of men will put a woman on a pedestal and she don't even deserve it. So, but women are exhausted from the jerks. They're exhausted from the bad boys, the jocks. So, once you get with this woman or you date her or go on these dates and she's, a, um, you know, trying to hold it back a little bit, you know, being manipulative in a way, this is where her, she's doing all of this because of all of her bad experiences. And since she has all these bad experiences, she can't properly assess a man. She can't tell if the man's a good guy or a bad guy because she's dealt with so many bad guys and how they manipulate and do things right. So when she gets into the room or on a date with a good guy, she thinks he's full of shit. She thinks he's just trying to get in her pants. Some of that is true. She thinks she see, she's been with the guy in her early twenties where he said all the right things just to sleep with him and leave him. So all of these different experiences, all these mindsets that she's accumulated, plus she's drifting, she don't know what she believes in, what she wants to be a wife or mother. These women have no direction. And what's even worse is the men are just as lost as the women. They're just as lost as the women. So they can't correct the women and point them in the right direction because they're, in, they're going in the wrong direction. They don't know what they're doing as well. This is how goofy our society is. So now you have men and women, mainly women, that are just drifting. This is how you get these women that are 30 years old talking about, well, you know, you're 30 years old, you say you want to get married. Well, why are you still out here in the club? Because they don't know what else or how else to get a man. They're lost. They believe feminism so long and this agenda that they're not even feminine anymore. The nurturer. They're be trying to be just as competitive and combative as a man. All this is going on at the same time, and it's ruining the women. This is why a study says by, I think, 2030, a lot of women will be single with no children, half to 50%, which is a really sad statistic, if you ask me. But because I don't come on here just to talk shit to, about women, just to do it. That doesn't, that doesn't, in my own real life, I have been successful with women. So I have no reason to be bitter towards women. I'm just noticing like, damn, this whole thing, this is not going to end well. And there's going to be a lot of unhappy, unhappy and depressed women.
cat ladies. And it's going to be because they believe what society, all these different things have told them about men in relationships. And it's all bullshit. Hopefully they wake up. Hopefully they put it together before it's too late. So that's my video. You guys like, comment, subscribe. Show the big like the video. And I'll see you guys on the next one, man. Peace.